welcome to Homestead Corner. I'm Jenny, and today I've got a $25 budget prepper pantry haul from the Dollar Tree. So today we were able to run into Dollar Tree. I haven't been in in about a week and a half probably and I wanted to see what they had, what they had restocked and things like that. Because last time we went in, it was pretty slim pickings and today was pretty slim pickings as well. Again, the craft section seems to be getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but the food section is definitely shrinking. Uh, there was some new items in stock, not really things I was looking for, but I was able to do a $25 budget haul and get a few things for the pantry and a few more organization containers, which I just love their organization containers there because $1.25 is a super deal. Before that, we ran into tractor supply. And I know this is a really weird thing, but I wanted to just give you guys a heads up, check those places that you don't really think of for food because tractor supply sells you know chicken feed and stuff for your homestead and farm and things like that baby chickens they're so cute and they're in stock right now but um but they had some stuff in there like some of their snack items they had a huge bucket for a dollar a piece which is amazing for the items that were in there so i did grab four packages of these pretzels these are eight to ten dollars for this size bag no matter where you buy them i think they're close to ten dollars at tractor supply they had these for a dollar a bag so we grabbed four of these just to stock up on them she said they were getting close to the dates they're still a couple months on them but these are great for I love these pretzels, but I usually do not buy them because they're too expensive and they don't fit in my budget. But for a buck a bag, you betcha, grab those right up. So we did grab those at Tractor Supply. And now let's jump in and see what we got at the Dollar Tree. So like I said, food was a bit limited, so I really don't have much of that. I've got a few other things. I got some first aid supplies, organization stuff, a little bit here and there, a couple of food things. But um, the first thing I grabbed was an elastic bandage. These are wonderful for your emergency kits. Um, we keep elastic bandages everywhere. I also like the sticky ones that stick to each other. They have one that they carry at the Dollar Tree. Um, but I have a ton of them already, so I didn't grab one of those. And I wanted to make sure we had one more of these. It comes with the little clips in it so you can hold it together. But they are great for sprains helping to hold things still, things like that, making sure we've got what we need in our emergency kits. Right now is just so important. Things are so crazy around the globe. We don't know what's gonna happen five minutes from now, let alone tomorrow. It just, and things just keep surprising me. I'm like, this cannot be real. We can't live in a world this crazy, but we do. Um, we really do. And then the next thing I grabbed, I haven't seen these in a while, but our store just got them in again, the care kits. I love these wound care kits. They are wonderful. If you have not uh, grabbed these from the Dollar Tree, a buck 25 is an amazing deal for what you get in here. You get a roll of tape. Um, there are a bunch of gauze pads, four of four different sizes. You can get some two by twos, some two by threes, four by fours. There's like 16 different gauze pads in here, which is wonderful. Um, that's more than you get in the regular size box of gauze pads. And then you also get the tape and two rolls of gauze as well. So these are wonderful to have in your emergency kit for those bigger wounds that a Band-Aid just isn't going to cut it. Um, or instead of using 10 or 20 Band-Aids, <laughs> which I've done before. Uh, <laughs> you could definitely do that. But I love these. For a buck twenty-five. this is one of my favorite first aid finds at the Dollar Tree. And it is such a good deal. So I'll never get that back in there right right now. So we'll do that later. <laughs> 
And then I did grab an extra pack of these gauze pads. They wick and absorb the Curad ones and they got a little protective coating so it doesn't stick to the wound while it's healing. So I like those. Those are good for the inside of your bandages. And then you can put the other ones on top of it. If it's, you know, really bloody, then you're going to need more than one layer. So uh, good to have. And I also found they had the liquid skin back in. We love this. $1.25 is a super deal. These are so expensive at other stores, up close to $5, some over $5. These are wonderful for those little scrapes and nicks and things like that. You want to keep them covered and clean, but you don't really need a Band-Aid. This stuff is wonderful. I really like it. I know a lot of people use super glue, and that works as well. And the next thing I grabbed was a drop cloth. This is 9 by 12 feet. Uh, just a roll of plastic. This can be used for so many different things. I'm going to be using this in the garden so we can get started early because the snow, we didn't get hardly any snow this year. And what we did get is melting quickly. So I want to be able to get into my garden as soon as possible and get food growing. So I'll have a video coming up with this drop cloth. And we're going to be using this out in the garden. So keep a lookout for that. $1.25 is a great deal for plastic. You can get thicker plastic in rolls at Walmart or your hardware store. But I'm trying to keep the budget down for, you know, our gardening because it can get really pricey when you're picking up new things. And I also grabbed a pack. There's a 10 count of disposable razors. Remember, these are not just for shaving. These can be taken apart. So you've got a razor if you need to cut splinters out. A um, whole bunch of different things. You can, you've got a couple of blades in here and you can take this apart and use it when you need it for an emergency situation and, you know, not just shaving. We want to think outside the box when we're looking at things, what else can I do with this? Because the less things that you have and the further you can spread them, the better off you are. So we always like to look outside the box and see what else can I do with this? And then I also grabbed a pack of matches because, you know, it's not a Dollar Tree haul without some fire in there. <laughs> I am a fire bug and I will admit that. Hi, I'm Ginny and I'm a fire bug. I need to go to a 12-step program, I think. But you cannot have too many matches on the more serious side of this. You cannot have too many matches in your stash because in an emergency situation, especially a long-term situation, you're going to need to light fires. You're going to have to heat up water. You're going to have to get warm, light, cook food, so many different things. You may use a box of matches in a day. So in a long-term situation, you're going to want a lot of these, definitely. So we always like to keep plenty of matches in our supplies. And the next thing is paper tape. I like to add extra tape because sometimes one little piece isn't enough. Uh, the roll that's in here is a little bit small. I think it's only like 20 feet or something like that. Um, I, I'm not sure how long it is. I can't remember. But, uh, but I have grabbed an extra roll of medical tape just to have in our stash making sure that is as full as possible. We're seeing all kinds of issues at hospitals around here. We've had doctor and nursing shortages for quite a few years. And since the whole jab thing started, we've had that. And then they're overworked because there's not enough help. And we're just seem to be losing them. They're dropping like flies, unfortunately. It's really sad. People need medical attention and you can't always get it when you need it. So making sure you've got a lot of your home stuff is really important. Being able to do it at home could save your life. And I also grabbed a roll of the parchment paper. I love to cook with this. It's useful for all sorts of things. Um, we use a ton of parchment paper. I think the cookies bake better on it. <laughs> they don't tend to get as crispy on the bottom and we really like it. So we use it a lot. And it's, it's a real saver. <clears throat> and the next thing I grabbed was two of these 24 cup uh, containers. They're the uh, Sure Fresh. I really love these and I don't use them for food. You can. They're food grade. 
uh, and I think they're BB, BPA free and all that stuff, but these are wonderful. They're not airtight, but they do keep the dust out of your things. And we keep them with razors and them, matches and them, rope in them, cupcake liners, cooking twine, all that stuff that's kind of floating around your pantry. These are wonderful and they stack up so nicely. I really like it. They're really stable when they're stacked up and you can go quite high with these because they're a wide enough container. So you can really stack them up pretty high. These are one of my favorite containers at the Dollar Tree um, because they're big and you can put all kinds of stuff in there. Let's see, I got one more bag here and I bought these three containers. I haven't seen these at our Dollar Tree. Um, I've seen them on videos for a long time, but I've never seen them at our local Dollar Tree. They've got a little handle on it here and I thought these would be great for the pantry for, again, like small snacks, um, your little seasoning packets, bottles of seasoning or your first aid stuff, anything you want to put in here really. Uh, in the working pantry, I thought these would be wonderful because we buy like giant boxes of uh, snacks and things like that. And then we put a little bit out at a time so the kids don't eat a hundred packages in one day because you know how kids are. But um, <laughs> so they can have some, but not all of it in one day. <laughs> um, so I thought these would be great in the pantry and the little handle will make them easy to just pull off the shelf. So I grabbed three of those to add to our food pantry. And then I wanted to just remind people, I saw a sign in the store which reminded me, I think it was last week, there was a recall on the Supreme Cinnamon that Dollar Tree sells. And it was in a couple other stores as well. But that Supreme brand is the one that has the um, recall on it. There's, It's not safe to eat. If you've got it, return it to the store. Um, I would check dates and stuff like that. I'll see if I can find a link to the recall and put it in the description. But um, so I am definitely being careful what spices I'm buying there at the moment. But uh, I did pick up a whole um, pepper corn so we can have this in the pantry. I like to get my pepper so it's whole because it's going to last longer in long-term storage. If you're using a the ground pepper, if you're buying that, it's not going to go bad in storage, but it does kind of lose its oomph over time and you have to use a little bit more. Whereas your whole peppercorns and your whole spices are going to last longer in their whole form. So I like to keep uh, whole peppercorn and I grab those from the Dollar Tree because they're really inexpensive. It comes with a grinder, but you don't have to use, I don't love the grinder because it's plastic and it breaks up in your pepper and, and then you're eating the plastic too. And then I grabbed uh, just an extra can of baking powder. We are cooking more and more from the pantry and finding that we're going through different things a little bit quicker than we used to. And I wanna make sure we have a larger stock of those items. Those things that we're cracking open sooner, we want to definitely make sure we have plenty of those. So anytime I open something, I write it on the list. We keep a list on the refrigerator that you can get those little magnetic notepads at Dollar Tree for $1.25. And I just keep one on the fridge and I just, every time I open something, I write it down. Uh, no matter how much of it I have in the pantry, I want to get at least the one I opened back in there. And if I have space, I'll get two, three, four of them. So I did open one of these and I only have space for one. So that's what I got. And I also grabbed some extra of the Butcher Boy coconut oil. I love these small containers. That way I don't have a big five pound one sitting in the cabinet and it can possibly go bad over time because I don't use tons of it. But we do use it and I like these little ones. So I know once they're open, I'm going to go through it before it could ever go bad. Um, and I really like that. And then I also grabbed a two pound bag of the brown rice for our dog food. And we like to make sure we have plenty of that in stock but not too much because brown rice is not going to last long term. So we like to keep about six months worth in the house. Again, when I open one, back on the list, so I've got another one. Um, I don't normally repackage the brown rice because we don't keep more than six months worth in the house. We just keep it rotated so we know that it's not going to go bad. 
And the last thing I grabbed was just one of these little spray bottles. Um, we're making more and more of our own body care products, cleaning products, things like that, because it is so much more inexpensive. So I just grabbed one of these extra containers. Um, so that is it. This is my $25 haul. It really is not that big, but it was a few things we wanted to get into the pantry and some new organization things. We always want to have plenty of organization items so we can find our stuff. We can stock up all we want, but if you can't find it, you might as well not have it. So keeping it organized really is important, making sure you know where it is. When something happens, it's right there for you. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.